Aquarius hey Aquarius welcome back to my channel and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Aquarius if you're new to my channel I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected your energy is protected as well if you're returning wow so the first message we have here is read between the lines hmm honestly I'm picking up that at this time there's a masculine energy that is very, very intrigued by you, Divine Feminine. But what's interesting is that they're also confused as well. This feminine energy that I'm picking up on is a very mysterious kind of energy. Well, you're in this very mysterious kind of energy. So I'm not sure if this is something that you're doing intentionally, but this has definitely been going on for a while now. And I feel as if this masculine is so intrigued because they just put the pieces together. So whether you know it or not, they have kind of been attempting to read behind the lines of your actions, of your words. Um, for some of you, depending on how energetically bonded you are, even your thought process. And this is something that they feel like they have to do with you. Because I'm picking up on a type of feminine energy that is very hyper expressive. Meaning that you're someone who's always communicating with them, even when you're not. So regardless of if there's currently like a lack of communication, your body language alone and your energy speaks volumes to this masculine energy. And where they are right now, they're realizing that you have actually been communicating with them this entire time. But they were not really aware of this quality of yours. So where they are now, you have their full attention. It's almost as if they're, they've been alerted that there's a whole nother level of communication happening in your connection. So what's being highlighted at this time is that this masculine is really focused on how you move, specifically how you move around in this connection. Your actions, your words, your thoughts, and how they manifest into action, okay? And they want you to know that they've been reading between the lines. They feel like there's something you may want them to know, but you're not saying it. But at this time, your energy is showing this, okay? I'm also getting there could be a major shift in your connection. I definitely feel this energy boiling. Um, there's like this anticipation energy where you both may feel like something very interesting is happening. So Divide Feminine, I'm getting that you've been aware of kind of this, this ability to communicate with them from the very beginning. For some of you, I feel like you were not aware of this or you may be coming into this type of information, but your person may feel like they are definitely onto you in some kind of way. They were overlooking this attribute, but something happened recently that, that literally has them connecting the dots. And it's coming through in a very mysterious kind of way, as if some bits and pieces may be left out here. Um, but something you're doing, Divine Feminine, is kind of initiating a change in this dynamic. And they feel like they have to read between the lines. But they're also a little bit confused or unsure if they're reading your energy co correctly, right? So whatever you're doing is really, really intriguing at this stage of your connection. This masculine is absolutely tuned into your energy. So if you're wondering how they're currently viewing you, they're really, really focused on you and particularly how you navigate this connection, okay? What's interesting is that I feel something coming through with the feminine energy. This kind of feels intentional, even if it's on like a subconscious level. Divine Feminine, I feel like you're sending a very clear message to your person, but it's the way you're doing it that's kind of shocking them. And I feel like it may be shocking you as well as you see them respond to this, okay? Um, but there's something, there's something that's highlighted here about your energy, and it's like in general, you may make people feel like they have to read between the lines. And this is not to say that you're someone who isn't vocal or you aren't expressive or assertive in what it is that you're feeling. Um, it's coming through clearly that you're someone who is actually always communicating whether you know it or not, or at least you make people feel this way. 
And this is definitely how your masculine is feeling at this time. Um, as if they're reading between the lines and they've picked up on some information that you're trying to convey to them, okay? Wow, let's get the next message here. Wow, so the next message we have is stepping out of my comfort zone. Hmm. Okay, so Divine Feminine, your energy is coming through very, very strongly at this time, um, I have to say. So <laughs> there's definitely something that you're doing right now that is heightening your energy on, on a massive level. But I'm picking up on a Divine Feminine where you're kind of sitting back and you're wondering about the type of effect, the direct effect that you have on your masculine. And you're thinking about this because you know that you are a very powerful feminine energy. But when it comes to this masculine in particular, they have this way of kind of concealing their emotions, even in the most intense encounters that you have with them, okay? But you will be very surprised to find out that this masculine is actually matching your energy and has been this entire time. And if they were to be 100% honest with you, you made them step out of their comfort zone, which is very, very rare and most likely has never happened to them before. It's like you are very, very tapped in and tuned in with your own energy. And so you naturally have this ability to influence people around you without even knowing. So something is happening here on a subconscious level with you, Divine Feminine. So you and this masculine, upon coming in contact with one another, you had a very spiritual exchange. It's like, if we're speaking about this in the terms of energy, this kind of begin at the crown chakra, okay? It, it, it's how I'm getting it. Very stimulating mentally, but on a much deeper level. Meaning that this is a connection that had made you, you know, think about things you've never touched on with someone else outside of yourself. Very deep, deep, you know, spiritual type of energy that's coming through here. They may have, this connection may have even drastically changed the way that you view love, connection, and even sex. Okay, that just came through clearly. And this entire thing has been extremely uncomfortable for this masculine energy, but in a very exhilarating type of way. You probably wouldn't know this because they have this uncanny ability to hold their composure when it comes to you. And this is mostly because they feel like you are aware of your power in this way. And you know the effect that you have on them and other masculine energy. So they may be trying extremely hard to kind of keep these parts of themselves concealed, okay? But this, this is something that is very, very, like much deeper than attraction here. And I'm getting something extremely exhilarating about this dynamic, okay? The, the energy is coming through. It's very high vibrational today, but very, very intense. There may be some type of activation going on with the heart chakra here because there's very like intense, exhilarating, like exciting kind of energy coming through with this reading here, okay? But right now, it's like, if you're wondering how this masculine is currently viewing you or your connection, they're trying to figure out how you're able to do the things that you do. And it came out exactly like that. So this could be general, but I'm getting that there are very specific things that you do that immediately get a rise out of your person. And like I was saying, this is very light energy, almost as if your masculine is kind of sitting back and analyzing this, okay? They may also discuss this with other people, like in a very casual way, like asking other people, hey, has this ever happened to you? And they're finding out that, that this is a very rare occurrence, okay? So yeah, this, this is something is definitely happening, okay? But whatever this is, it feels extremely positive. Let's get the next message here. Okay, the next message we have is, you're not innocent. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, if, if you're resonating with this message so far, 
This masculine is definitely sitting back and admiring the way that you move. And there's this kind of direct focus on your ability to subtly influence their energy, their actions, and their thoughts. And it's coming through as you're not innocent because you have a way of doing this without notice. I'm picking up on a very, very intentional feminine energy. But you have made a shift recently in how you directly relate to this masculine. And that shift is that you no longer announce your moves, okay? <laughs> and this is definitely catching your person completely off guard. It's like you've gotten to this stage in your life, Divine Feminine, where you have done so much inner work. You have definitely, you know, honed in on this embodiment of your energy where you move off of your intuition. And the things that you do and say are scarily accurate and so in sync with your person's mental and emotional process. So how this masculine is viewing you has drastically changed, okay? And they're realizing that there's a totally different side of you. So there's this outside version of you that may come off very poised, very soft, maybe very soft-spoken, okay? Very maybe mysterious, where, you know, they kind of feel like there's another side to you, right? But there's another side of you that is very influential. And this side of you is, is, is what actually has their focus right now. And I feel like this definitely confused them at first, but now they're in a more curious energy. Now they're attempting to dissect this side of you, this version of you, this energy that you have the ability to kind of fluidly go back and forth between here. They're wondering what is it about you that grants you this level of intuitive access to them? Like I was saying, Something is very scarily accurate about the things that you do, but on the outside you appear, you know, maybe as if you're not paying that, that much attention to them, but something about your intuitive process, okay? You may be going through spiritual upgrades as well, Divine Feminine, because you're on point, okay? But yeah, there's definitely been a major shift in how you operate, and I feel like this is a direct activation of your masculine energy. But this is awakened masculine energy, divine feminine. As you know, we all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? And depending on where you are in your journey, there are times when you will be in, you know, an unawakened state or times where you are in an awakened state, but this is definitely awakened masculine energy that I'm tapping into. And this is directly affecting how you assert yourself at this stage of your journey, okay? And what's interesting is that this is causing a major difference in how your person viewed you in the beginning. There's been a direct shift in the respect level here, okay? And it's almost as if because you are identifying with a very sacred part of this masculine's energetic makeup, this energy is coming across very, very strongly, okay? So they are respecting you differently. They're viewing you differently, okay? They feel as if you have the ability to influence, okay, their, their, their process, their emotions, their actions here, but from a very real, intuitive, like a very spiritual place here. I feel like this is something that could be happening collectively. So no matter where you are in your connection, whether you're at a distance, okay, whether you're in low communication, if you are physically connected to your masculine here, there's something happening collectively where this energy is coming through extremely intense. So some of you may know this about yourselves here, Divine Feminine. You know that you are extremely powerful, but you don't lead with this. This is more like an internal kind of process. But you naturally touch the people around you, okay? So if your person were to be very honest with you at this time, they would just tell you that they are completely on to you, okay? Um, they were genuinely confused about what was happening and why they were feeling this pull towards you or feeling like they wanted to open up and do things that they really haven't done for anyone except you, okay? Like if you knew the vast difference in how your masculine behaves with you versus other people, this is not even just feminine energy, just other people in general, you will be amazed. It's literally like night and day. And they may not show this to you, 
but it's definitely playing on their minds here and will definitely be affecting how they engage you from here on out, okay? So yeah, um, you they're realizing that you have a lot of influence, okay? And you directly influence where they are, how they show up. Um, they're viewing you extremely different. There's been a drastic shift in your connection. And mainly how you navigate this, this entire dynamic is what's standing out to them. Let's get the next message here. Aww. The next message we have is, I see myself in you. Yeah, so something very, very beautiful is taking place in your connection right now, whether you know it or not, where both of you may have very well been putting in the work to heal the unawakened versions of yourselves. It's like you stepped into a totally new realm of reality where this masculine is now getting to not only see your awakened feminine energy, but also your awakened masculine energy as well. And you in turn are seeing their awakened feminine energy, okay? This is very, very beautiful. And also very divine within a twin flame dynamic because this is your natural state. So I just got crown chakra, okay? So there's definitely something happening here on a soul level. But the way it's coming through is that there are energetic codes that are being unlocked within your connection right now. So right now, there is a direct flow of energy being shifted, like from the lower chakras that are now able to get access to your higher chakras, your heart space, your throat, your third eye, and your crown, okay? Being in the ultimate connection with yourself, with your masculine, and the most high by, you know, merging these energies here. So there's a major, major beautiful exchange between your higher self that's happening right now. So for some of you, your connection started here, but with the ups and downs on the journey, somehow your energies got stuck within these lower chakras. And this could be a cause of a great deal of, you know, tension, strain, constraint within the connection. But Divine Feminine, you and your masculine have kind of redirected this energy upward toward the heart space. So something powerful is happening either behind the scenes on an energetic level here. And this masculine is beginning to understand their full potential, right? But more importantly, they're amazed at the beautiful soul who helped them reach this potential, which is you, Divine Feminine, okay? And specifically your energy because... One thing about working on your energy centers, that's a total inside job, okay? And I'm getting that this has not been easy at all. But both of you have realized that it's, that it's literally impossible for you to reach this full potential if you do not open up your heart space, okay? So whether you know it or not, Divine Feminine, you are reflecting back something so sacred to your masculine at this time, and that is their true nature. They are absolutely amazed by this and your ability to kind of redirect their focus and attention to the truth. So at this time, because there are so many crown chakra activations happening, your hearts are extremely open and you can feel your person's energy in a way like never before, okay? This is a very, very sacred time in your connection. So if you haven't felt this shift as of yet, you will definitely begin to feel this as this old energy clears and it, it opens up a portal, you know, direct access to the heart space and to the higher mind and, and to your higher self, okay? Something very, very spiritual is happening um, within this connection. I definitely feel like it can have something to do with this eclipse energy. There's also a Mars transit that's happening right now, which is directly affected to the masculine energy and how they are responding to these, you know, kind of upheavals that are happening collectively, it's clearing so much energy. So even if you haven't gotten to this part yet, Divine Feminine, trust and believe me, the more that these energies clear, 
the more that your person is kind of opening up, you both are opening up, you know, this clear access, this clear road directly to your higher chakras, okay? This is very beautiful energy. I know some of you can feel this as well. You've been kind of feeling this energy leading up to this point for weeks now. Let's get the next message. Wow. And the next message we have is heart, mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Divine Feminine, your masculine can see your light. Okay. You are literally glowing from within at this time. And because there's been a major shift within you, you have pushed out some very stagnant energies from within your vessel, which is directly affecting your masculine energy. And also, the reflection of, of themselves that they are seeing within you is changing them from the inside out. So you're totally in sync with your higher self right now or whatever it is that you're doing right now, Divine Feminine, keep doing it. I don't know if you're doing energy work. I don't know if you're meditating. You could be doing a lot of healing. For some of you, you're writing. Whatever you're doing is definitely clearing your energy. You are embodying your true divinity. So your sacred feminine and sacred masculine energies are merging. And because you share this, this chakra system, they feel this powerful shift as well. This may have even caught them off guard a bit, okay? Because it's almost as if once you clear the energy, they automatically get to this place too, and it can shift their, shift their energy body instantaneously, okay? This is something that can happen instantly, okay? Because their energy is coming through extremely light, very loving, okay? It's almost as if they discover a totally new version of you. But what they actually see being reflected back to them is the awakened version of themselves, okay? And you will see this in your masculine as well. So yes, there's a very sacred exchange on the horizon for you in this masculine energy. You may be feeling very, very close to them at this time, okay? And I'm also getting like, no matter the status of your connection, the energy surrounding you right now in the Twin Flame Collective is extremely positive, okay? So you may feel your person's um, energy very, very strongly. You may feel their presence very strongly. This, this is why, okay? They're naturally drawing close to you directly at that heart space. Yeah, you both are definitely returning to the heart space, okay? And this may manifest energetically or physically depending on where you are on your journeys, okay? Let's get the next message here, the last message. This is so beautiful. The last message is, I can only love you. Wow. Very, very beautiful energy here. Yeah, this is major confirmation for your masculine, okay? And if they didn't know this before, they definitely know this now. I feel like this could be the most important thing that they need you to know right now, Divine Feminine, because this energy is coming through very serious. They want you to know that they can only love you. Like, the, the way that it's coming through, they want you to know that it is physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually impossible for them to love anyone else. Because although this journey and this connection may be extremely triggering for your person, you reflect back to them exactly where they are in their mind and in their personal development at all times. And that can be incredibly triggering depending on where you are on your personal journey, okay? So like I touched on in the beginning here, you are so powerful. This is how they view you that you are always exchanging information. You're always providing that feedback to your masculine. And sometimes they don't like what they receive, okay? That's, that's just honest. But they're realizing that it's always for their highest good. And I feel like they're at a place where they're able to really receive that now, you know? Information can come in extremely differently depending on where you are mentally. So at one moment, a piece of information may be very, very triggering 
depending on where you are, maybe you're not even open to receiving. A lot of these masculines were not open in their heart space because they were stuck in this lower energy here. But now that they are clearing this, they're, they're definitely able to receive this information, okay? So it's like, whether you know it or not, there was always this element to you that absolutely intrigued your masculine. And it was how you navigate this connection with so much conviction, even without verbally expressing this. It's like your energy alone tells this masculine everything that they need to know. So you have always influenced them from the inside out. And it, instead of viewing this as a bad thing or as something extremely triggering, they're, where they stand right now, they're absolutely amazed by you and this connection. So what may have been confusing to them about your energy is now becoming extremely clear to them. And they know that you are a driving force behind a lot of what's happening here. So I feel like they're sitting back and thinking like, yeah, this divine feminine is not innocent, meaning that you play a major part. So there's like this newfound respect for you, okay? And, 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 and what you really stand for, and this is awakened love, a higher octave of love, a love that is always communicating and always engaging this masculine in ways that they can't even express. But now they know on a soul level that it's always for their highest good. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, I feel like some of you have already begun to notice this shift where the exchanges with your person are just a little bit more intense or they feel very high vibrational, very sacred, very intimate, okay? If you haven't experienced this, okay, there may be energy still clearing within your connection here so that you can reach this very, very beautiful stage where you begin to see one another's light in a way that you have never, ever before, okay? So divine feminine the way that your masculine views you directly has changed drastically but it has changed for the better okay um your masculine wants you to know that they can only love you there's definitely a sacred merging that's happening here collectively as you know these transits happen on the planet they're definitely pushing a lot of people into ascension with eclipse energy there's really no choice, okay? If you've already been doing the work, then this will kind of be, you know, it, it may be a little bit um, uncomfortable, but you, you'll naturally be in the flow. You'll be calm while these transitions happen. But even if you're not there, this is something that is happening, okay? It's pushing you in this direction to move past any energies that may be holding you back or keeping you stagnant here. So I feel like whatever you're doing, Divine Feminine, keep keep doing it. This is beautiful energy. And you and your person are really headed to a very, a very, very beautiful sacred stage in this connection here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, if you would like a personal reading, all of that information will be posted in the description box below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.